In the last five minutes of practice before my third Olympic competition at Sochi, I dropped in at full speed. But as I reached the top of the wall, I knew something was wrong. The snow was too soft, and as I initiated my rotation, it gave way. I fell backwards more than two stories into the pipe. I hit the snow hard. The only thing running through my head was, get up. You have five minutes of practice left, get up. That started the hardest two years of my life. The first three months, I couldn't walk or talk properly. I woke up every day in a complete fog that felt like a hangover. Headaches, nausea, sleeping 10 to 15 hours a day, and never feeling rested. I struggled with who I was. I lost my balance, my personality, and my sparkle. I was suffering from depression. I went to counseling. I never lost sight of being an athlete. Maybe not as an Olympian, but I needed to ride again. It took two years to get back on my board. I completed my first 720 in qualifiers in Park City, January 2016, and I landed it. I cried a lot. Now I'm back doing what I love. There's still times when I struggle, but I set a plan every night for the next day and have a really small goal to get me going. I tell myself that I'm important, that people care about me, and that it's time to get up. I don't have a scar to show for it all, but I fought and worked hard to break through my darkness. That's why I ride.